Welcome to the introduction of concrete, the design and control of concrete mixtures. We will be covering chapter one, an introduction to concrete. This chapter covers the trends of the concrete industry, from the production of cement to concrete applications. What is concrete? Concrete consists of the components cement, water, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, supplementary cementing materials, and chemical admixtures. About 180 million cubic meters or 240 million cubic yards of ready mixed concrete are used in the United States each year. Concrete is used as a building material for many applications, including high-rise buildings and pavement construction. Production is cement geographically dispersed with 97 plants in 36 states. The top five companies operate 57% of the clinker capacity Roughly 80% of the clinker capacity is owned by companies headquartered outside the United States. 68.4 million metric tons or 75.2 million tons of cement were consumed in the United States in 2009. Nearly two-thirds of cement consumption occurs between May and October closely correlating with the construction season. The majority of cement is shipped to ready mixed concrete producers which account for 72 percent of cement consumption. About 97 percent of cement is shipped to, con to customers by truck. Other distribution modes include rail, barge, and bags. This slide shows the apparent use of Portland cement by market. Concrete's primary markets include pavements, bridges, and high-rise and low-rise buildings. The terms concrete and pozzolan come from Roman roots. Concrete is derived from the Latin word concretus, meaning grown together or compounded. The term pozzolan comes from a volcanic ash mined at the village of Pozzoli, Italy. The Colosseum in Rome, completed in 800 AD, was construct constructed of concrete. Much of it still stands today. In the 18th century, John Smeaton discovered that an impure soft limestone containing clay minerals made the best hydraulic cement. He used this cement to construct a new foundation for the Ediston Lighthouse off the coast of Plymouth, England. Joseph Aston, an English mason, obtained a patent in 1824 for Portland cement the name came from the resemblance to limestone quarried from the Isle of Portland, which had been used as a prime, premier building stone since Roman times. Sustainable, sustainable development. Concrete is the basis of much of civilization's infrastructure and much of its physical development. Twice as much concrete is used throughout the world than all other building materials combined. 
it is a fundamental building material to municipal infrastructure, transportation infrastructure, office buildings, and homes. The performance of concrete is related to workmanship, mixed proportions, materials, characteristics, and adequacy of curing. The production of quality concrete involves a variety of materials and a number of different processes, including the production and testing of raw materials, determining the desired pr properties of concrete, proportioning of concrete constituents to meet the design requirements, batching, mixing, and handling to achieve consistency proper placement, finishing, and adequate consol consolidation to ensure uniformity, proper maintenance of moisture and temperature conditions to promote strength gain, strength gain and durability, and finally, testing for quality control and evaluation. Concrete constituents include cement, water, and coarse and fine aggregates. The range and proportions of materials used in, conc uh, in concrete varies. This slide shows a cross-section of hardened concrete made with, on the left, rounded siliceous gravel and, on the right, crushed limestone. Cement and water paste completely coats each aggregate part particle and fills all spaces between particles. Ten cement paste cylinders with water cement ratios from 0.25 to 0.70. The band indicates that each cylinder contains the same amount of cement increased water dilutes the effect of the cement paste, increasing volume, reducing density, and lowering strength. In summary, this chap chapter covered industry trends, the history of cement and concrete, and providing, provided a summary of sustainable, sustainable development and an overview of the essentials of quality concrete which are both covered in detail in the remaining chapters. Please write down any questions you may have in your journals to bring and discuss in our next class.